professional, my official role with the company is Studio Sherpa. Uh, as my role as Studio Sherpa, I get the great pleasure of hosting people within the Sonance studio. Sonance is kind of the umbrella, and under the Sonance umbrella, we have Sonance the brand, um, which is probably the one that most people know about. Sonance makes a bunch of different SKUs for a bunch of different applications. And then in January of 2020, we acquired James Loudspeaker. And so at James, we love it because of the capabilities. We've got a catalog of roughly 200 pieces, but the idea is we can change the size, shape, and dimensions and finishes to match anything anybody needs. A lot of the questions I get within the space are not only what are the speakers that are used in there, we have two systems, a Sonant system and a James system, but what are the electronics that are driving behind it? And so the primary basis for that is the Altitude 32 by Trinoff. I tell people right up front, we use it for a couple reasons. The first and, and primary reason we use it because it sounds incredible. Um, it is by far, if not the best, one of the best processors on the market. Um, we love it for the performance. Um, we're using the 32 channel because within that space it actually allows us to use one source component and one pre-pro for both systems. So what we've done here is we've actually made a dedicated profile for the James system and then a dedicated profile for the Sonant system. And then what we do is via Savant is we trigger these different seams and issue mute commands uh, to essentially trigger one profile to come on and another one to turn off. So it's made it very easy to compare the two using the same basic electronics between them. We've had Todd Ryan, who's our chief engineer uh, for 28, or I think 29 years here at Sonance. Uh, Todd dove into it with a couple other team members uh, and it really gave them the ability to fine tune the system. So not only can you do the basics of uh, setting levels and distances, but really diving in to the parametric EQ, measuring the room, and then by channel, really calibrating uh, the performance of each speaker to match the acoustics of the room. Yeah, I think one of the great things we get to do in the space here and with the brands that we represent is we get involved in systems at the entry level, so that just could be a basic audio video receiver, to a cost is no object, uh, trying to achieve somebody's dream theater package out there. Uh, and so if somebody is trying to take that leap of getting the best of the best out there, then that altitude falls right into place. It gives the client the ability to really fine tune that system depending on the size of the room, it really allows us to scale up or down depending on how many channel requirements are within the space itself. I think ultimately is we wanna make sure we're having the right conversations with an end user and then design that system around those expectations. And I think the altitude lets you do that um, because it'll let you grow either up or down with the system uh, to match the acoustics and the experience that somebody's looking for. What we have found is when we bring people into our theater here and we play the Sonant system for them first, and then we play the James system for them, I get a lot of people pull me to the side and say, I gotta be honest with you, I didn't know those brands could do that. I think the combination of that processor, along with the speaker packages that are in there, are one of the most surprising experience that people get within the space themselves. What we have within the James system there is we're actually running a 9.3.6 system. It's highlighting the James BE Theater. Um, these beryllium tweeters in a quad array are simply remarkable. I have been in a lot of theaters that can play loud, and that certainly will play very, very loud in there, but I can't wait to get out of most rooms. Um, it's because I'm hearing a lot of distortion at the top end, and I end up with what's called listener fatigue. But because of the detail from the uh, trin off that we're getting in the altitude, we can play that James system incredibly loud. we do get a lot of people in the film industry through here. Um, and so what they'll do is they'll request a couple days before is, hey, can you download this movie for me? Um, and, it's, and I don't know why until they get into the space and it could be a director, it could be somebody that worked on the sound. They'll come into the space, they'll listen to either the Sonance or the James system on the altitude. And at the end of it, they'll say to me almost word for word, 
that's exactly what I was looking for. And I'll say, what does that mean? And they'll say, you know, when we mix these things, we spend a lot of time uh, with the soundtracks in the movies, a lot of time, hours in the studio, and unfortunately it's lost in most of the systems that people listen to at home. When I came into this space and I listened to it here, I heard exactly the detail that we intended people to hear when we were doing that film scoring to begin with.